So now let's look at an application of using Canvas that's perhaps a little more practical. So here's a chart that I've created here for you. Now, one of the things that I want you to keep in mind is that because Canvas is a pixel by pixel nature in drawing anything on the canvas, there's often required a lot of instructions in order to make anything happen. Now, that's good because that gives you a lot of power. You have control over each one of the pixels within the canvas. But that can also be a little difficult to work with sometimes if you need to paint something that's perhaps a little more elaborate. Now, I wouldn't say that the background to this chart is elaborate, but if you'll notice, there's a gradient and there's the grid lines, there's the labels as far as the numbers and the, the month names and everything. And if I'd done that in JavaScript, that probably would have taken dozens, if not a hundred or more lines of code. So instead, I've sidestepped all of that code and simply created a background image. I just cracked open Photoshop. I created this background image and loaded it into the canvas. And by doing that, what I'm doing is I'm using canvas for what it's good at. It's really good at painting pixels at specific points within the canvas. And then I've just used the background image to kind of give it the flourish. So in order to make this work, the first thing I'm doing, of course, is accessing the canvas and also taking a look at the context after making sure that the browser can support canvas. Then I'm creating a new image and loading that image. And here I'm just accessing the chart background. Now, once that image loads, I draw the image onto the canvas and then begin to create a path. Now, this is just like one of the basic samples that I showed you. The first thing that I do is move to point 7105, which equates to right here on the chart, and then create a line to a line to a line to. I trace the entire path of the chart. And once each one of the data points are traced within that line, then I can call context.stroke in order to actually create the line on the chart. So this is one simple way to create a static chart using the canvas. Now, static charts are great, but it would be even cooler if you could create a chart that had data points fed to it dynamically. So in this sample, this simulates having some sort of a service running in the background, feeding data points into the chart. So what I've done here is created an array of JSON objects where I have data points for the month and the performance. Perhaps this is a chart for a stock. And then I've set aside variables for the canvas context and index. Now, each time the chart needs a segment drawn upon it, this function of draw a segment will run. Now I'm setting aside X1 and Y1 and X2 and Y2. And what this does is it gives me the starting position with X1 and Y1 and the destination position of X2 and Y2. So for instance, the first time this is called, the starting position would be here and the ending position would be here. So once I have the start and end positions, I can call begin path, move to the start position, line to the end position, and then call stroke. And here I'm simulating some sort of Ajax caller to service because I wanted to make this sample standalone so that you would be able to run it just within your browser. So I'm just keeping track of things within an index so I know which item to look at next. So this is a little different than the animation demo that I showed you earlier, where I cleared the canvas and basically had the canvas redraw everything on every frame of the animation. What this does is it updates the canvas by adding just one segment at a time onto the chart. As I scroll down here, you can see I'm looking to make sure the canvas is supported and then getting reference to canvas in context, loading in the background image, and then immediately calling draw segment. I'm also setting up the context to have a stroke style for the blue color that you see here and giving the line width of four and having the line cap of round so it has a nice refined look to it. Then just to make it look like it's animated, I'm calling set interval and setting that equal to the frame variable. So every 750 milliseconds, it's making a call to draw a segment. And then once I know the index is out of bounds with the data that's coming into the chart, then I call clear interval to stop the animation. So using the same type of approach, you could very easily create a chart that makes calls out to a remote server. And when it gets a response back, updates the segments or updates what it's drawing into the canvas.